welcome to Beck's Healthy Cooking Show. I'm here with my beautiful niece, Rochelle. Hi, thank you. <laughs> and we're going to make today some bliss balls or protein balls um, or a version of a Lara bar that's made into a ball. There are so many recipes out there for this and I thought I'd show you the process, how to do it. It's so easy and you can basically put whatever ingredients you like. I'm going to make one with nuts. You can make this without nuts, you can make this without fruit, with fruit, more sugar, less sugar, whatever. So how we're going to start is, I have some nuts that I over-processed. I was trying to chop them and this is what happens when you don't read the instructions. Summary basic table functions. And you end up with nut meal. So we're going to use the nut meal and make a little bit of, with coconut oil. And we're going to use this to make butter and that will be the basis of these balls. So we switch this on and we put it on for about <laughs> So on speed six or seven for about five seconds and you can see there you've got a nice chunky nut butter. Cool. So, how much um, coconut oil to almond meal? Like, what's your general? Okay, well, this ratio? this is an almond meal as such. This is a whole heap of nuts. So, a bag of mixed nuts that I ground down. My ratio is a teaspoon to about a cup, a tablespoon to about a cup. But that's not set in stone. I'm going to add a pinch of salt, just because I like to add salt to everything. We're going to add some raw cacao powder. Isn't that the fake chocolate? I don't know, that's um, carob. But is this it? is actually the nice, this is the nice one, I promise. Oh. Um, some linseed, I really like a bit of linseed in my nut balls, or bliss balls. Coconut, pepitas for crunch. You can add more nuts too if you'd like to. And some dates, because this will also help sweeten and hold it all together. And then we're going to mix this all up until it all comes together. So again, about speed four or five for about six or seven seconds. Okay, so that looks pretty good. What you want here, Rochelle, is a really wet mix. Yep, beautiful. So we have, that's what it looks like. It's a nice wet mix. And then all we do is roll these up, squeeze them into balls. Now, depending on how large you want them, these are a great snack with a coffee. Uh, if, you, if you're running short of time for lunch, you can have a few of these, they're really healthy. You can roll them in coconut, you could roll them in the cacao powder, which would make them a nice after dinner treat with coffee, I think that's what you wanted. You can make them larger or smaller. So there we go. You can roll those up if you like. Oh, that's great. These are best that's stored the in the fridge or freezer to firm up. And they'll keep a good two or three weeks in the fridge and a good period of time in the freezer. Well, thank you very much for watching Beck's Healthy Cooking Show. You can see the results here. And if you'd like to contact us, you can contact us on Facebook, Beck's Healthy Cooking Show, or email beckshealthycookingshow at gmail.com. Have a great day. Bye.